graphs. The question says determine an equation working from a graph. And so if we look at the graph, we first need to identify what are the things that we know. We can see that our end behavior is running over here from Q3 to Q1. So if we've got end behavior, Q3 to Q1, this tells us two things. It tells us that we have a positive leading sign, and we also have an odd degree. A couple of other things we can note are x-intercepts. We have an x-intercept over here of minus 1, and our function is simply passing through. So we know that there's an x-intercept of minus, oops, minus 1, order 1. And then additionally, we also have an x-intercept over here of positive 2. And at positive 2, we've got a bounce in the graph. We're bouncing off the x-axis. So that tells us that that is order 2. Last thing we want to identify, we have a y-intercept that crosses through here at 12. So our y-intercept is the point 0, 12. Let me just make this a little smaller so we've got some space to work. Using what we have here, we can now start to try to build an equation. So if we write our equation, our initial guess would be y equals, let's keep a placeholder in there, just in case there's some constant value that goes in front. We're going to build using that x-intercept of minus 1. Remember, an x-intercept of minus 1 gives us a factor of x plus 1, and it's got a power of 1 because of the order of 1. We don't need to show powers of 1. Our next intercept is at positive 2. The factor that goes with an x-intercept of positive 2 is x minus 2. And over here, we've got a degree of 2, which goes on top. So that's our initial guess for our equation. We now have to check that we're satisfying all the information we identified. This equation would have end behavior Q3 to Q1. It would have a positive leading sign right now as long as the A value is positive. It has an odd degree. We're satisfying the x-intercepts because that was, that's what we built our equation from. Lastly, we have to satisfy a y-intercept of 12 when x is equal to 0. So if we go and let all the x's equal 0, this bracket would be 0 plus 1, which is 1. This bracket would be 0 minus 2, which is negative 2 squared, though, becomes positive 4. So we've got 1 times 4 times something must equal 12. So by solving for that, that tells us right away this a value must be equal to 3. If we again let all the x's equal 0, we get 3 times 1 times 4, which is 12. And we've now satisfied all the requirements and built our equation.